Hey guys, Mike here from Pines again, up on the hill, showing off another little build project the boys and me had on the on the go here at the shop this week. Something a little different here. We've got a 2015 XMR 800, right from BRP. So this is the BRP mud unit. And I know you guys kind of know us for our big builds with the 1000s, the big Renegades, the big lifted stuff. We thought we'd try something a little different here and kind of go back to our roots a little bit. Of course the 800 engine and the Gen 1 chassis is kind of what started it all. We did a, have done a ton of snorkels, rad relocates over the years on these units. So it was quite exciting to see BRP come out again with the XMR 800 in the Gen 2 chassis. Now ideally we could have just basically taken this out of the box, left the Gorilla Silverbacks on it, made sure that the uh, air box was sealed properly and rocked it around the trails here. For the most part, our area around here would have done just fine. We wanted to add a few mods to it. This is our demo unit, kind of show you guys a little bit uh, what we can do with them, kind of improve them. We've got a lot of deep water on our trails this year, so with the snorkel, the standard snorkel height only being, you know, roughly right about here, first thing we wanted to do was extend that. So of course, our classic, Pines PSM, Mech Mike, whatever you want to call it, snorkel, custom snorkel kit done here in the shop. Air intake, CVT intake, and CVT exhaust. All just a few inches higher, and of course you can see them. They're visible when you're riding, so you know how deep you can get uh, before you have any issues. Quickly, just a couple other little mods we've done here. You can see our custom Can-Am X-Team rad insert on the uh, rad relocate kit kind of give it a personal touch we've got lots of different styles for that and you can also tell that we've taken the gorilla silverbacks off they're a great tire but we wanted to go with something a little bit different and that's an STI beadlock with our standard 29 and a half inch outlaw now the outlaws are known to be a little bit smoother ride on the trail and that's why we switched them out just to try something different here again I'm just going to turn the machine off here for a second. I'm going to tell you about a couple things on it that's unique to the XMR and why we think it's pretty cool. Of course it is in the short wheelbase so it's a lot of fun to drive the handling on it. Uh, you know water wheelies that type of thing is going to be pretty cool. We we'll also notice that the axles, just a quick look in there, like the outer joint here, we've got the heaviest axle that BRP offers. They've uh, come out with some uh, upgrades on their axles over the last few years and what we're seeing in the machines now, they work really well. We don't see them breaking like maybe we used to on the Gen 1 chassis. What's also cool that you may have noticed is we're not running a spring spacer on it. And the shocks are actually calibrated a little different than the standard XT. And you notice right off the bat when you hop on an XMR, that it is a stiffer ride than say like an XT1000 or an XT800 and it has the ground clearance, the same ground clearance as those units when we do put a spring spacer lift on it. So again we're going to rock this guy without spring spacers just being that the ride is a little stiffer, a little different valving in the shocks and uh, I think we're going to do alright. We'll find out after about 10 hours if it sacks out or if it holds up. Now the other cool thing in the back here, of course, with the XMRs, it's well known that uh, BRP needed to solve an issue with their diffs with the, with the 1000 XT models. And again, the XMR has the, uh, the heavier diff into it, so that's definitely a bonus. And again, you can see the rear axle here, and they've actually added a little protector on the outer one. I guess they had some issues with uh, twigs and sticks and rocks and whatnot, maybe popping that clamp off, so they've put that piece on too. Again, another shot of the rear shock different calibration and like I said it's about 14 inches 13 and a half inches of ground clearance in the back just stock on it now you heard we've actually got the uh, stock exhaust removed from it you can see we've got this cool Looney Tune slip-on pipe and they are quite loud we'll fire it up again here also noticed with the XMRs when I was pulling the clutching off it, even though it comes stock with 30 inch Gorilla Silverbacks, the stock BRP clutching in it is very similar to 
what they used to run in the Gen 1. So we still have the standard clutch, the same springs, the weights are a little different. That's one thing we wanted to improve on. Now we could have put a, a clutch kit into it, but again, we've done a QSC Raptor, complete aftermarket primary with a STM roller secondary, just like you see. So we're gonna play around with the calibration on that. See how it works. This unit will be going to some of the rallies, mud ride events this fall. So we're gonna get uh, a chance to put a few hours on it, check it out, and see how it makes out. So again, thank you guys. It's been a great season running the ATVs this year. Like I said, we're already starting to think about next year. This XMR 800 is going to be a great, uh, a great addition to our lineup. Play around with, do some mods, some different things. If you're interested in them, the boys do have a few in the crates here. Give them a shout here at the shop. Check out the videos that we upload, that I upload in the next few months, and and Austin on his channel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys, and stay tuned.